I was a child of the 80s and 90s. Now I'm a child of God. I'm very relieved about that. It's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. I love salvation, forgiveness, all that God offers. It's absolutely amazing. So being a child of the 80s and 90s, I wasn't a horror movie fan myself, but I had friends that were. So when I'd have sleepovers or hang out with friends, horror movies made their way into, <laughs> into our viewing. One of the most classic characters of horror movies is Freddy Krueger of A Nightmare on Elm Street. You know, I'm, I'm sure if I watched some of these movies now, they'd be kind of comical. But at the time, they were kind of scary. And, you know, kids have wild imaginations and everything. Freddy Krueger definitely scared me as a child. He's seen here looking like he's in the flames of hell. Hell is something to be much more concerned about than any kind of horror movie. So Robert England is the actor that plays Freddy Krueger, famously. Right, bit of a difference. Here he is in all of his makeup, looking like an undead person, looking pretty scary and gruesome. Here he is looking a bit creepy, you know, it's a lot of it, there's a lot to say about people's eyes, and he's got the classic glove with the blades on it. And one more picture of Robert England. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra there with his hands. Is he just resting his hands casually? Or is he doing a gesture that we see every day because coincidence much? So Robert England, the actor who plays Freddy Krueger, he's getting older, seen here doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, a gesture of fake enlightenment. It's deception from Satan and the pride of humanity to pose like this. Horror movies definitely freak kids out. I'm not a fan of them. You know, I don't watch them nowadays. Like I said, I had friends that were into them, so I watched them as a child. Something that is far more scary is the biblical world. People that have faith in Jesus Christ have no need to fear. God doesn't give us the spirit of fear. But people that are lost, in the middle, on the fence, whatever, they should realize that this is fake, this is a movie, this isn't real, this isn't happening. An actor plays that and distills fear into young children and more. But this is real. This hand sign here means something. It's not nothing, it's actually something. And it's much more scary than Freddy Krueger or A Nightmare on Elm Street will ever be. Because hell is a real place that people go to. Christians can debate about certain things. Some people say it's not eternal, and I believe what Scripture says. It seems like it's an eternal place of torment. Why would God do this and that and the other? We're all sinners that deserve hell. We need to have faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ to be saved. God has done it all for us, so no one can boast about anything. We must have faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ. People who are unsaved or people who are, you know, on the other team seem to do this gesture. It's an inside gag. It's an inside joke. But it's not a joke. They're, they do this very seriously. Again, it's the pride of humanity to pose like this. That's why they all seem to do it, because it's prideful. Who had pride and fell? Who wanted to be above God? Satan. They would probably call him Lucifer or Lucifer the light bearer. The so-called light that they're chasing, that the Freemasons chase, is the false light of Lucifer. That is much more scary. Satan and hell are real, and that is really scary. I know there's <coughs> atheists that say, I'm not afraid of burning in hell, and they're all smug and egotistical about it. But hell is real, no matter who you are. Every single person alive is a sinner. Every single person alive lives in a biblical world where they can choose to have salvation by resting in the finished work of the cross. Or they can have fun in this world. Hell's not real, right? And if, even if hell's real, it's going to be a party there. Maybe Robert England and Freddy Krueger will be there. We can have fun and party. Brothers and sisters, this world is very confusing. I know so many people don't believe this, but, you know, let's keep trying to get people to understand that this stuff is real. 
They have no need to fear as long as they have their faith in Jesus Christ. God will take away that spirit of fear because you can rest knowing that you're eternally saved. You're forgiven. You have salvation. That is the most beautiful, wonderful thing. It is far greater than any riches in this world, any kind of fame and fortune. Brothers and sisters, thank you for walking with me. Thank you for listening. God bless you.